everyone. I'm Jan Angel, your 26th District State Representative. Thank you for joining me on Legislative Update. We're rapidly approaching the halfway point of the session, and just a few days ago, we reached a critical milestone in the process of passing bills. Our first major deadline was Thursday, February 17th. This was the deadline for passing House bills out of their respective policy committees in the House of Representatives. Policy bills not approved by that deadline in the committees are considered dead for the year. The second major deadline comes a week later on February 25th. That's the fiscal cutoff. Fiscal bills must be reported from their committees by that date or they're also considered dead for the year. A fiscal bill is one that spends money. These deadlines are important because they keep the legislature on task in its duty to finish its business within the constitutionally allotted 105-day schedule. The same deadlines apply to the Senate. There are a couple of things to keep in mind with these deadlines. First, bills necessary to implement the budget are exempt from all cutoffs. Second, with enough support, any bill can be resurrected at any time. With much of the committee work behind us for now, the focus moves to the House floor. All of the bills reported from their respective committees are sent to one very powerful place, the House Rules Committee. This is a committee that decides which bills will come to the House floor for a vote. I'm honored this year to be serving on the Rules Committee, and we've already moved a list of bills to the floor. I expect we will be spending nights and weekends on the House floor debating and voting on bills as the legislature approaches its floor deadline on March 7th. This year, I'm also serving on the House Education Committee. Our recent discussions on this committee have centered on a proposal called Common Core, which would be a federal standardization of core curricula in the schools. While I agree that it's good to have some standardization for people, especially those that move from state to state, I also have some real concerns about the direction this education reform bill would take, mainly with local control. I think it's essential for parents and local school officials to make the decisions at the local level of what materials and curricula are offered in their schools. While I strongly believe we need to create a new vision and a long-range innovative plan for our schools, an important element to be successful must be local control. This measure is House Bill 1443, and it's continuing to evolve. I would encourage you to pay close attention to it. In fact, your involvement is very important to our legislative process. I invite you to go to my website, where you can find information on all of our bills and our current activities in the legislature. You can also email me from that site. You'll see the address on your screen. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you again for joining me on Legislative Update, and until next week, I'm your State Representative, Jan Angel.